Then the village prepared. On the night of the full moon, Oku appeared, turning the sky black and the wind wild. Obun stepped forward, his voice steady. You shall not have this land. We are protected by our ancestors and our unity. A child born with gray hair. In the lush green land of Oka, where tall palm trees stretch their mighty arms towards the sky, and the river sang songs of life, a special child was born. His name was Obum, and he came into the world with a crown of gray hair, as silvery as the moonlight. From the moment Obun was born, the villagers were amazed and curious. They wondered if he was a gift from the ancestors or a sign of a great danger. His mother, Amaka, held him close, feeling both love and fear for her extraordinary child. As Obun grew, his hair remained gray, and his eyes were deep black with flakes of gold, making him look wise beyond his age. He spent hours listening to the elder stories, especially tales of Mazinze, who had reunited tribes of Oka long ago. Obun often sat under the sacred palm tree, pondering these stories and their lessons. One day, as he sat beneath the tree, a gentle breeze rustled the leaves, and Obun heard a voice. Obun, you have been chosen for a great destiny. The village faces a great danger. An ancient evil, Oko, stares in the shadows. You must protect your people. Obum's heart pounded. But I am just a child, he said, trembling. But the voice reassured him that it was his heritage and the spirits will guide him through. So, Obum sought the wise elder, Mazi Obi, and told him of his encounter. Obi listened and already knew what was ahead. Mazi Obi then trained Obum in the ways of the warriors and taught him things about the physical and the spiritual world. Months passed and Obun grew strong and skilled. The villagers came to see him as a beacon of hope. One night, Obun dreamed of a dark figure with glowing eyes. It was Oko, the spirit of chaos. I have come to claim the land. It is. Obun woke up with a startle and ran to Maziobi, shouting, Oko is coming! Oko is coming! Then the village prepared. On the night of the full moon, Oko appeared, turning the sky black and the wind wild. Obun stepped forward, his voice steady. You shall not have this land. We are protected by our ancestors and our unity. But Oku laughed. <laughs> you are but a child. What can you do? But Obun was not alone. The villagers stood behind him, their faith unshaken. The spirits of the ancestors surrounded him, glowing softly in the darkness. 
Obum led the charge. Moving with grace and strength, the spirits guiding him and putting him in the right directions. Together, they defeated Oko. The villagers cheered, their voices joyful. Obu, with his gray hair shining in the moonlight, had fulfilled his destiny. Obi approached, smiling. You have done well, Obum. The village is safe, thanks to you. Obum smiled, feeling both satisfaction and the weight of the future responsibilities. He knew his journey had just begun. As the village celebrated, he returned to his palm tree and sat beneath its ancient branches. The voice of the spirit returned. You have done well, Obum. But your journey has just begun. Trust in yourself and the strength of your people. You are never alone. Obum looked up at the stars, ready to face the future. He was no longer just a boy with gray hair. He was a warrior a protector, a leader, and his story was only just beginning. Soon, another challenge arose, and the people sought Obum. He knew it was his destiny to protect his people, so he was always ready, even though he didn't know the gravity of the danger ahead. One day, Ikuku, the god of wind, invaded the land, sweeping away people's belongings and rendering many homeless. Something needed to be done before it started claiming lives, which was the next step in its agenda. After Obum consulted the wise man, Maziobi, he was told that Ikuku demanded either Obum surrender his powers, which were in his grey hair, or it would sweep out the entire village of Oka. This was strange and frightening to Obum, but he knew he had no choice but to obey Ikuku, or the village of Oka would be no more. Obum's parents were quite unhappy about this sudden turn of events, and they advised their son to think carefully about what Ikuku demanded. They warned him that Ikuku might take more than just his powers. It might also take his life. One day, as Obum sat under a palm tree, a voice told him to follow his heart instead of surrendering. So, on that fateful day, Obum decided to confront Ikuku, and the whole village was filled with fear. They wondered how he hoped to confront the dreaded Ikuku. As Obum approached Ikuku, he fell to his knees, crying and begging, reminding Ikuku of its powers and might, and how no one could survive its wrath. Obum praised Ikuku so much that it began to fade away. After a while, Ikuku vanished and never returned to Oka again. The people of Oka were left in shock as they wondered how Obum had such wisdom to save their land. They rewarded him with plots of land and renamed Oka to Umo Obum. Do you know that there are over 2,500 species of palm trees? And not all palm trees are trees. And not all plants called palms are truly palms. Palm trees are important religious symbols. Just like in the Bible, the people of Jerusalem greeted a triumphant Jesus just one week before his death 
and resurrection. A tradition now known and celebrated as Palm Sunday, the week before Easter. Palms are mentioned dozens of times both in the Bible and in the Quran. In Judaism, palms represent peace and plenty. Thanks for watching. Love from the classic stories.